Hello everybody, this is Neanderthal Gaming and welcome back to Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. I am picking up right where I left off last time after this baby cutscene. Um, and we're gonna talk to this old lady. While the elder brother takes talks to the sweeping guy. Sweeping girl. Ma, when <laughs> right, so we're going the right way. And he does a little broom trick. <laughs> and she gets mad. Alright. This girl's playing basketball. It's kind of cool. Let's see what the little brother has to say. Oh, no way. Okay, I have to make it quickly. I'm sorry. Hey. Oh, defense. Gotta get the rebound. Didn't throw it quite high enough. Oh, that's a steal. It's not going high enough. Okay, this is bothering me. <laughs> Maybe I gotta shoot a three pointer. Hey, alright, there we go. <laughs> Surprise, there's no achievement for that. This is what I'm talking about um, with little things that don't really matter but are kind of cool. So you can very clearly take this bridge or you could go the long way. Oops. Sometimes you get confused which brother is which thumb. Uh, and you talk to this little harp guy. And here is an example of something that's kind of cool. That's it. And then the spoilers, the big brother sucks at it. Um, anyway, yeah, just something kind of cool. Some completely unnecessary for the game, but it's still cool. Excuse me. This guy has nothing cool to say. He's just kind of a drunken, drunk jerk. So we'll ignore him. This is the coolest puzzle I think I've seen so far. Uh, this is about halfway through what I've already played on my own. So the idea is that one brother jumps down, distracts the dog, hops up again to safety. The other brother jumps back down, distracts the dog, goes on a different path. Sometimes the dog just goes over there for some reason. Don't know what happens if the dog catches you. Haven't ever had that happen. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, no. Simple as that. Oops. <laughs> 
This one took me a little bit. Uh, this one has kind of some red herring stuff. Uh, or black rabbit, I should say. Because you don't even have to go down there to those rabbits. Uh, there's like one pink or white rabbit chasing the black rabbits. You don't need them whatsoever, is what I found. Also, there's like a farmer on top of that roof over to my left now, but you don't need that either. All you need is for a little brother to get into the treadmill. And big brother to hop across, grab a sheep, <laughs> and walk back across. And something else I found is if you, once brother's on the bridge, you can just kind of have him surf down. Sheep. Kind of wobbles over here. For some reason, the sheep likes to run, and so he will. And that's all you need. And now, one thing I thought was kind of cool is up to this point, this game has seemed 100% realistic. Like, everything other than. Okay, other than the ghost coming out of the grave, everything in this game has been feasible, you know? No mythical creatures, no crazy, you know, terrain or anything. It's just kind of like a cool mountain town um, with an occasional ghost or whatever. Maybe the kid's just crazy a little bit. Um, but what you're about to see changes all of that in an instant. <laughs> kind of hear him right now if you listen closely and boom it's a troll <laughs> surprise it's a fantasy world So it's a friendly troll, thankfully. Uh, I think he was crying because his girlfriend or wife or something is missing because you can tell there's two beds there and they both have hearts on them, which would make me assume that they were a couple or something. And so, yeah, it's kind of really depressing. Um, <laughs> I have made it past this part just a little bit further on my own, so I do know uh, what to do here. Still. Hi. That would be kind of terrifying in real life. Are you home? <laughs> and while we wait for him to move around, we can check out the vista. Oh, look at that. Very cool mountain. Cloudy peak, some cool pine trees, and a little like temple looking thing kind of halfway up there. I bet we'll be up there. I'm sure we'll be up there actually. Haven't been up there yet. I'm not saying that's a guarantee, but I mean, why would they have it there? If they hey, 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 hey. A little scary there. Really cool shadows too. Like, that's how they introduce that the, the troll is coming. The shadow hits you first. I thought that was pretty cool.
So essentially, he's being the terrain that is missing from this area, so that's kind of cool. Seems like he knows what he's doing. It's kind of like it's his job or something. Very interesting indeed. I thought. He's a figure skater when he's bored. <laughs> oh, he didn't catch the vines. <laughs> Okay, well I've never accidentally killed one of the brothers before. That was a little scary. Uh, so yeah, I accidentally let go uh, when I wasn't supposed to, and he fell to his death. Whoops. <laughs> oh man, what the heck. I guess you're supposed to uh, scoot a little bit further along that ledge. Whatever. Oh, you don't have to jump. You could just kind of... Yeah. Oh, God, that scared me. Oh, you could just do whatever. There we go. Now, this part scared me just a little bit. It didn't scare me. kind of more surprised me. I'm like, yeah. oh, where are we going? Going this way? You going up? We going across? What are we doing here? Surprise! We're going down. If I were those kids, I'd be a little more freaked out than they are, but I think I'll be with this cave looks. So, after that crawl through the cave, this is the point at which I stopped playing on my own. So, in the next episode, we will begin uh, with a new look for both of us at this new, not new, but this new to us game. So, uh, anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.